you're expected to be physically tough, whether you're operating in the jungle or the desert or even in uh, uh, London on account of terrorist operations. Um, and so they all have to pass a very demanding physical course in their own interests and in order to meet the expectation of their commanders and, and the military as a whole. Then they've got to have the right attitude. They've got to be determined people. They've got to be people who have a mind of their own. And uh, this makes it uh, um, difficult. This means you've got to have bloody good officers who can actually uh, understand individuals' uh, expectations as well as the corporate expectation. And, um, so the selection course is designed to bring this aspect out in officers um, and in the men. And there's nothing magic about it. They're just trained as a pilot is trained to develop special capabilities, techniques, and ways of doing things uh, once they've been selected. And uh, there's a specialist job. Uh, in exactly the same way as a pilot or a member of a tank crew. Um, and I think at times people think there's something magic about them. There isn't. They're just very high grade people uh, trained to a very high level in specific type of operations.